people have been asking about kind of what's going on with Hawaii, what's happening with the um, with the, with the, the coronavirus, etc. Well, folks, uh, the bad news is the 14-day quarantine uh, recently was announced to be extended until July 31st. So as of a few days ago, uh, there was an announcement from the governor's office that it's it's at least till July 31st. And I say at least, well, let's say 10th of, it's July 31st, but there's no, <laughs> right? I'm having a hard time kind of wording this one over here. Uh, I, the, and the reason why I'm having a difficulty is because our governor has not given a clear date as to when we are going to lift the quarantine. That's why I'm having a hard time. So they said July 31st, but they didn't say we're definitely lifting quarantine on August 1st. All we know right now, quarantine is still on. It's going to be on until the end of July. And I can have a whole other episode to talk about that whole topic. All right. Uh, there is uh, the uh, the inter-island quarantine. That is going to go, uh, that is thankfully going to end on June 6th. Now, by inter-island quarantine, what we're saying here is, if you could believe this, there was a quarantine if you were flying between islands. So if you're perfectly healthy and you flew to one of the other islands, you still had to go on quarantine unless you were part of the essential group and you were all kinds of exceptions. It's all kind of crazy. But that quarantine is going to be lifted. So that means if if I if I decide to go and visit uh, Dylan in the Big Island, um, I'm going to be able to, I don't have to kind of hang out in quarantine. Although I wouldn't mind hanging out at Dylan's house now that we kind of see his background. Uh, <laughs> If you're going to do quarantine, if you're going to be quarantined for 14 days, that's the place to be quarantined. Uh, but that's kind of where that's at. Local businesses are opening slowly. Uh, there is there's a general lifting of businesses. They're pretty much most of them are allowed to open. I think only a handful are still being uh, closed, like out and out bars, uh, large gatherings, things of that nature. But for the most part, local businesses are opening slowly. Here's some news. You probably haven't heard about this, but there has been a lawsuit uh, has been filed against uh, Governor Ige from two separate groups. One group coming from uh, a, a constitutional kind of a perspective saying uh, the governor's emergency rulings are good in the law for 60 days. This has gone way beyond 60 days. He no longer has authority to have that rule, to have that emergency ruling. So that's being started to fight in court. And there are some others who are uh, more of an equal uh, uh, equal protection kind of clause. Uh, these are short-term vacation rental owners uh, on uh, the neighbor islands that have said, hey, this is, you know, you're allowing some businesses open, but you're not allowing us to open. There's a legality issue here. And they, I think they've threatened to sue. I don't think they've actually filed suit. The first one has been filed. Uh, the other ones have been threatened. Uh, 